a statue in his own likeness of 90 feet tall, covered in gold, and he forced everyone to worship this idol. He forced everyone to bow to this statue, and everyone did it. They got on their knees, faces in the dirt, and they worshiped this idol, except for three young guys. When the king heard about this, he got these three guys and said, is that true? Is it true that you will not worship this statue that I've put before you? And these guys stared at the dark eyes of the king and he said, yeah, it's true. We will not bow to your idol. And he said, if you will not bow to this statue, 
I will heat up this furnace seven times. I will throw you into the furnace, into your death. And these boys said, go ahead and do your worst. Our God will deliver us. And then they said something, the most extraordinary thing. They said, our God will deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we still will not worship this idol. They had made their choice. They put their faith in Yahweh, the King of the ages, the only one. And it was not contingent on an outcome. They made their choice. And here we are with statues all around us, idols all around us, forcing our attention, demanding our worship. And the world looks at us, church, and they said, is it true that you will not worship these idols? Church, we look back into darkness and we say, it is true we will not worship these idols. We worship God alone. He's the one we serve. He is the name we lift up. He is the one we praise. So with defiance, we sing this. And God did deliver those boys, and God will deliver us. But we've made our choice. Our choice has been made. We serve God. Here we sing. We serve no other God, no other God but you. We praise Divine. 